So first off, I just want to say welcome to our farm tour. Um, as you can tell, the driveway has just been graded, so that's why it's a little bit muddy because it rained today whenever I filmed this. But um, we have some gravel to put on it. We just haven't got around to it yet. But we do have a pretty long driveway. It's not too long. It's about, I would say, average for a farm. But we love the driveway and the trees that hang over and just how long it is because it's further off the road and you can't see much. Well, you can't see much, a lot of the house from one direction, but not from the other. And we love that the hill blocks the view from the main road. of the road that I'm on so the right side of the road if you're looking this way but we do not own the fields across the road or those white barns and the red trailer up on the hill that is our neighbors we do not own that side this is the view from our front porch and this is one of the main things that made us fall in love with this place is the view you have of all of the properties around you like you can see for miles and the sunsets are just beautiful but we love it here back in the day and an Amish guy previously owned it before us and that's who we bought it from but he didn't do anything with this part of the farm and so it was grown up and he owned it for five years so it had not been bush hogged or anything in over five years and like two weeks ago we had it bush hogged so the property looks a lot better but it already needs bush hogged again <laughs> we own to the road um, on the front side of our property and I'll explain the back side here in just a second so everything that you see that is on this side of the road that is mowed um, is ours we own 34 and a half acres is exactly what we own but we own to the tree line like you can see the tree line and the fence that is what we own and then on the back side there what I'm showing you um, that is an Amish guy's property behind us he has like corn grown in that field but we own to that fence so where you see that it growed up we do not own that <laughs> is not the best it does get a little shakier up here because the fields aren't the smoothest we have a, um, a lot of rock that we need to go through and pick up but we were riding on the full wheeler so that's why it's a little shaky so here's a better view of the property line that I was telling you about the fence line is what we own too so we own down the hill and then the creek and then up the hill a little ways just where it's mowed So 
that barn right there we call it the calf barn because it is so short and it has a lot of stalls in it i think there's 46 in their total stalls and that's what it used to be was a calf barn they used to keep uh calves in there so i'll take you guys in there in a little bit and show you guys what it looks like and then this wood part and okay we'll start with the concrete white barn that is the parlor the milking parlor where it used to be the dairy barn and then the back half of it there is where they used to run the cows out of it and they would keep them in there after they got milked but right here is the gravel that we need to go spread but the barn that has no siding on it that is actually sold it was sold before we bought the property the guy just hasn't came and got took the rest of the barn down so he needs to come and do that and then the barn right in front of me is the corn crib you put corn on the sides and then you just drop through and it goes over the edge but i'll take you guys in there and explain it more in a second but there's the back of the house and the barn that was to my left that i just didn't show um i'll go in there and tour it in a second but that one that is we call it the equipment barn it's super tall and has stalls for equipment so the gate that you see straight ahead is our property line and it runs straight um, down and up and that is as far as we own and then that right there is a little lot and we do own that and then we own down to our drive well down to the front of the main road on that side So this barn right here is the equipment barn that I was talking about and sorry it gets really shaky here whenever I start walking around. Um, I don't know how people hold a tripod on a camera steady but they do it and I need to figure out how. But um, as you can tell it's just got a lot of stalls in it and this is the this is the tallest barn we own but not the biggest in length. But um, this is where we plan on keeping, we already parked the tractor in here and then the wood stove which it'll eventually go out and be hooked up but this is where we plan on putting like all of our equipment like the bush hog the bigger equipment and then we have another building for the four-wheeler and lawnmowers and stuff like that this is the barn that i was telling you guys that is sold that is going to be taken down and the part that has the board still standing on it going vertical that also goes with it as you can tell right there we tried digging out a ditch to flow the water out through there because a lot of water gathers there but this is the corn crib that I was telling you guys about you pull in and your chute goes over the edge and the corn pours down in these sides but just like everything on this farm that we bought the land the barns the house everything needs a lot of work and a lot of trash picked up because it has not been maintained over the past five years and honestly I don't think it was kept up before that because it was a rental house so I'm not even sure if the barns and stuff are being used we just don't have much history on the place yet one of the main things that we loved about this farm is that even though the barns were in such rough condition and the flooring and I think almost every barn the floor is concrete so as you can tell we scooped uh, with the tractor we came through and scooped all the manure out of here because the cows were in here and um, they just used the bathroom in here for like five years and nobody ever cleaned it out so it was super deep so we just have to still finish cleaning it out but it we can just power wash off the concrete and it'll be like new parlor is what they called it and what we call it and this building is probably the worst out of all of the barns and buildings because the roof has fell in on this and whenever we started looking at the farm the cows were in here and it leaked really bad so just put manure and water and just tons of other nasty stuff together and I thought about not even showing this clip like of the milking parlor here because it is so nasty but it's part of the farm, it's part of the work that we have to do to clean it up. So it is what it is and I wanted to show you guys. So this right here is probably the nastiest part that I'm about to show you guys because as you can imagine, just water and manure all mixed together and this is what you get. It is just disgusting. 
and so we're just gonna have to clean this out probably like wear some hazmat suits and stuff because it is so nasty but um in here is where they actually milk the cows and there's doors in the back that they used to run them out and you can see those in a minute whenever i show you guys the back of the barn from this point on to the beginning of the calf barn all of it is concrete and it's not level concrete but it is concrete and I think we may tear up some of it like the um, walls in the back I know that we're going to take those down right there that is what I was talking about that we are going to take down um they were used to put sawdust in between to hold the just as a barrier to keep the sawdust from like falling over the sides and stuff like that this is what I was talking about where they used to run the cows out and this is where they would just wait to be milked or either where they would come whenever they were done <laughs> I was walking and I am not here for this tripod on camera yet. But this right here is the calf barn that I was talking about and this is the one that has 46 stalls in it and as you can tell the roof leaks right here or either I think it actually is just draining wrong the where those concrete walls are there it causes a lot of issues but as you can tell the sides of this barn are completely washed out and like busted so we have a lot of work to do on this barn but the good news is is that the floors are concrete so we can just wash it all out well the middle aisle is concrete so we can just get all that out of there There's actually a walkway off the back of the house to the upper part of this building. And this bottom half is just going to be used for storing lawnmowers, four wheelers, um, wagons for the four wheelers and lawnmowers, things like that, smaller things. And then probably our garden tools because our garden is going to go on the upper side of this. Just smaller things like that. But it's got a concrete floor, and so far it's worked great. We just need to get it cleaned out. actually going to be my summer kitchen it has a good block foundation but the wood is rotted out on the floor and stuff so we're going to tear this down and rebuild it and summer kitchens are pretty common here in Kentucky it's where you do your canning and stuff like that just so your uh, kitchen in the house doesn't have to get so hot but that is all for the farm tour and I hope you guys will subscribe and thank you guys for watching